Good morning. I thought I might take you on a little journey today. I'm thinking maybe we'll get some breakfast and then the plan is to go to an estate sale because I love a good estate sale. And then after that, we're going to go to the thrift store. We're going to try to figure out a Halloween costume. We're thinking Harry Potter vibes, but we'll see what we come up with. We don't really want to make it. So I think we're going to go to the thrift store. Maybe we'll find something, alter it if we need to. I don't really know. Uh, but I'm gonna take you along and we'll see how it goes. Now let's go to a coffee shop and go get some breakfast. Actually, before we go, let me show you the fit today. Okay, don't mind the bed in the background. We have a guest staying with us. This top piece is thrifted. I believe it was handmade because on the side here you can see the artist's name. But yeah, I love it. It's very cozy. Underneath we've got just a basic top and my jewelry is from an estate sale. And then for the bottom we've got these bisque trousers that I just finished making yesterday. They're made out of a wool blend and they're super cozy and then for my shoes we've got some Birkenstock clogs which I thrifted for $20 Um, they're a little bit worse for wear but they're super cozy and I wear them all the time so I think eventually I will upgrade to something that actually is new but yeah this is today's vibe I call it the cozy artist. All right, so I ended up at my favorite local coffee shop. I was picking between the coffee cake and the pumpkin bread, but I ultimately decided on the coffee cake and it was so good. I'm super glad with that decision. I also bought a hot lavender matcha, which is definitely my favorite. Okay, I've got my lavender matcha and we're ready to go to an estate sale. The estate sale that I went to was definitely an interesting one. Rather than it being at someone's house and you going through all their belongings, it was at a museum and they were raising funds for the museum. It was almost like a large garage sale that was curated. I think the items were probably from someone's estate, but it's hard to say. Either way, it was a really big estate sale. They had lots of different kinds of furniture and art pieces. And since I just moved, I was definitely looking for things for around the house. It had been going for a few days and was definitely picked over, but I didn't really mind because like I said, I love a good estate sale. I really like looking through other people's things. I don't know, maybe that's weird of me, but there are so many cool treasures out there, even if it's not something that I necessarily want to bring home. There's some really awesome like vintage kitchenware items that you could find, like this chandelier is beautiful and all this art is super fun. You can get really great dishware as well and there's just so much random stuff that comes from people's estates. And then after I was finished at that estate sale, it was time to go thrift store shopping to pick up something for a costume. I started out at Goodwill and right off the bat I found something that might work but it wasn't quite perfect. There was also a really great selection of clothes and especially some really cool denim, but I wasn't totally sure that it was going to fit me. And unfortunately, this Goodwill didn't have any changing rooms, so I couldn't really try anything on. I also found this really nice vest. It had its original tags on it, so it was still brand new and it was very inexpensive. After going to that Goodwill, I moved on to the next thrift store. This place had a great selection of fabric. I'm not super into prints in terms of like what I wear for clothes. However, I did find this really nice bottom weight twill. It's a nice off-white color that I think would be great for a pair of jeans, and it was a yard and a half for $6. Eventually, I ended up at a thrift store with a good selection of items for a Halloween costume, and I ended up picking up a few items from there. Okay, so I'm back home. I got some good stuff at the thrift store, and then I also picked up something from the estate sale. I'm gonna go ahead and eat some lunch, take a shower, and then I'll go ahead and show you what I got. I also have to do a little bit of altering to one of the pieces and finish the final details of my costume, so we'll go ahead and do that as well. Okay, so I'm about to take a shower and I realized that you guys don't know a lot about me because I just make sewing videos on here and all the sewing content doesn't really have to do with me other than my personal style. So something funny about me is that I live in a really old house. So I just wanted to show you my shower situation because it's really funny, I think. So this is the bathroom. We've got a blue tub, as you can see. That's super weird. And then we also have this standing shower. So this is where I take showers. And yeah, this tile is like a tan pink color and it's kind of goofy, but I kind of love it. Okay, anyways, I'm not gonna take you on the shower journey with me, obviously, but I will be back in just a moment.
Okay, I'm fresh out of the shower and ready to show you what I picked up from the thrift stores and from the estate sale this morning. I only picked up one thing from the estate sale, so I'll go ahead and show you that first. And that is this lamp. Here, let me uh, pick you up and show you. I'm feeling like this lamp has a lot of potential. I like the shape that we have going on. I really don't like the grain of this base and it's also just like a cheap veneer. So I think what I'm gonna do is paint that black and that'll give some nice contrast to the whole situation. And the reason I'm thinking of going with black is because we have a lot of black accents around the house. If it were a darker wood with not such like an ugly grain, I might keep it or if the grain wasn't so ugly in my personal opinion, I would just stain it. But I think we'll go with black and then that it'll maybe live in the living room somewhere. But that's the first piece. And then let's see. Oh, I got some fabric. This is the fabric that I picked up. It is a yard and a half. It's 72 inches wide and it was $6. It's got this really nice grainy texture in it. It's like a thick twill or kind of like a denim. I'm thinking that if it's enough fabric, I could make a pair of Helen jeans with it. What I envision for it, but I don't think is gonna be enough fabric would be a straight leg version of the Helen jeans um, with the double front knee patches. I've been really wanting to make a pair of those. So, so yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. But yeah, I'll have to put the pattern on it and see if it works out um, after I wash the fabric. If not, they might become a pair of Persephone pants or wide leg Helen jeans. Again, it just depends on how far I can stretch this fabric. Okay, let's see. I picked up two items that are just for my own personal closet. One of them is a pair of shorts and I'm not sure if they're gonna fit. They might be too small, but they were really inexpensive. Let me see how much they were. They were only $6 and so I kind of figured that if they don't fit me I can just take them apart and make a pattern out of them and then make like the waist area bigger. But look at these, these are so cute. They're like a classic pair of trouser shorts. So they've got the two pleats in the front here that are really nice and some slanty pockets here. I like the color of the button and then on the back there's a single welt pocket back here that I really like, and they're quite long. I don't know how many inches that is, but there's the, that's how long the leg is. And they have a turned up hem here. They are a little bit dirty and some of the stains might not come out, but they're pretty light and I'm not that worried about it. I mean, clothes are meant to be worn and it's inevitable that you're gonna get some dirt on a white pair of shorts. So I'm not really that worried about it, but yeah, maybe I'll try those on and see how they fit soon for you. And then, okay, I'm really excited about this one. This piece was $4.99. In the cutaways I showed it to you, but it's made in Korea and it has its original tags on it. The tags say designed in Arts District Los Angeles. But yeah, so this is brand new and it's just like a really nice cozy vest. Be really easy to throw on with a pair of pants and call it a day. So yeah, excited about that. I don't really have anything like with this material in my closet, so that's good. And then let's see, okay. So I picked up some things for my Halloween costume. So we've got a tie. I don't know how to put a tie on, so I will have to learn that later. Maybe I'll take you along that journey. And then I bought these glasses. Um, that hurts my eyeballs because I don't need reading glasses. I am gonna try to pop the lenses out. I've also never done that. I don't know if it's like dangerous or if the glass will break or not, but we're gonna pop the lenses out and see how that goes. And then I got a coat or cloak or I don't know what you call it, like a wizard vest. <laughs> um, it's very big. Like, look at these arms. Look at how long these arms are. Those need to get chopped down. And then we've got a big hood. The hood's awesome. I love this. And then you can't see it, but it also drags on the floor. So we're gonna need to hem at the Oh my God, I can't, I can't take this off. <laughs> so yeah, I need to hem the bottom of it and then I also need to hem the cuffs because they're so long. Then yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's see what time it is. Okay, it's two o'clock and at five o'clock I have to pick up my little sister from the airport. So we don't have a ton of time, but it's also just like a quick hem so it shouldn't take very long. But yeah, let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, here's this coat on. It is humongous. Like walking backwards and stepping on top of it. This arm is so long. My fingers are like right up here. So I'm gonna take some pins and pin where I want to cuff it 
at the wrist and then pin it up so it's not dragging on the floor. And then I'm gonna take it to my iron and then I'm gonna, you know, do all the things. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a pin. So I like to hold out my arm like this and then take a pin and put the pin kind of like midway through my hand. That's where I want the hem to go because basically I don't want them to be too short when I lift up my arms because I feel like that's an issue that I have with ready to wear clothes. And then when my hands are down, it's a little bit long, but that doesn't bother me. I'm gonna take into account seam allowance. I'm gonna cut like one inch lower than this and then I'll turn it up by half inch. Actually, maybe I'll just turn it up by half inch once, by a full inch once. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it at this length and then I'm gonna serge all the way around the edge and then I'm gonna fold it up to the point where I put the pin and I'm gonna iron it. And then we're gonna top stitch all the way around just to hold it in place like a normal hem. And then I'm also gonna do the same thing with the bottom. So let's get into that. Okay, so this is 10 and a half inches. We're gonna do nine and a half inches. Okay, I just cut and surged the edges of the sleeves. They're already so much better. I think I'm only gonna turn them up half an inch and then I'm gonna top stitch them down. Okay, I lied. I think I'm gonna turn it up a full half an inch or maybe three fourths of an inch. Okay, I just also pinned it up by four inches and it's still a little bit long. So I think I'll cut it at that length and then I'll turn it up from there so that it's not still dragging on the floor. Okay, let's do it. Okay, the coat's all done. It drags a tiny bit on the floor, but I feel like it's a vibe and that's totally okay. And you know, it's just like a cheap costume, so it doesn't really matter if it drags on the floor. Um, yeah, it's going good. Let's go ahead and move on to the rest of the costume. Okay, next on the list is popping out the lenses. I've never done this before, so we'll see how it goes. I don't know if I should be wearing like gloves or something. Oh, no, it's not hard at all. Oh, easy. Maybe not super easy, but relatively easy. Like they kind of want to come off. Just gonna bend them a little bit. Oh yeah, much better. Okay, they're great. <laughs> I should probably learn how to do a bow tie next. Let's see about that. Let's get out YouTube. Okay, YouTube, what do you have to say? How to tie a tie? How to tie a tie. Hmm. Quick and easy. That's what I like to hear. Oh my god, that's loud. Close. Okay. I was super close, except it's far too long on the end, so we're gonna try that again. Cool! Not too long. And there's even a little thing for it to go through. Okay. I don't really know how long they're supposed to be. It was probably longer than it's supposed to be. Okay. We are going to move on to the rest. The outfit. Okay, I just realized that I also hadn't shown you those shorts that I bought earlier, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you those. And as suspected, they are too tight. See, I'm kind of like spilling out of them over here. Yeah, unfortunately just too tight at the waist. But I really like the details, so I think I'll uh, 
make a pattern out of them and then make them to my size. Okay, you guys, it's officially Halloween. It's two days later and we are ready to get ready. I'm a firm believer that you should use the items that you already own to the best of your ability before you go out and purchase things. So the base of this costume is this button up that I already own and these Helen jeans that I made recently. The items that I purchased from the thrift store probably only cost me like $5. So I would say that we did pretty good in terms of this costume and the price point and using things that we already own. Okay, let's go ahead and get dressed. Okay, this is the final fit. If you're a Harry Potter fan, then you'll probably know who I'm dressed up as. And if you do, go ahead and comment below and we'll see if you're right. That's all from me today. Happy Halloween. And if you like this video, click or tap the screen to watch another video from me. I'll see you in the next one.